Hi, Jeff Cote with Pacific Yacht Systems. Here we are uh, looking at some solar panels and your solar panels will always come out with a voltage and it's going to be higher or lower than your battery needs. Batteries need to have battery voltage constantly adjusted to how thirsty they are. Do they want to be bulk charging, absorption, float? So you're going to want a device between your solar panels and the battery. And that device is a controller, a solar controller. Uh, when you're buying an expensive panel and you're buying a panel that is maybe three times, two times, four times, five times the cost of a rigid panel, it might make sense for you to buy what's called an MPPT controller. And in this instance, because we're dealing with a panel that has an open voltage that is less than actually 12 volts, what we're using is what's called a boost controller from Jenison. Really popular. We buy these in hundreds. And it doesn't matter if the voltage has to go up or down. At the end of the day, all voltages need to be converted either up or down to actually charge the batteries at the right voltage. These little controllers are compact. Uh, you can buy them for lithium, you can buy them for lead acid, you can configure them for AGM, um, and uh, you can even buy them. We're actually buying them pre-configured at the factory for the Firefly. So, you know, on some boats where we're actually putting Firefly battery banks, like we've got right here, we're actually going to be bought putting a Jenison controller that is specifically configured for the Firefly battery. Really nice, super lightweight. Uh, on my boat, I have three solar panels that are 50 watt from Solbium, and I've got three Jenison GV Boost controllers, the GV8. So if you've got more questions about these Jenison GV Boost MPPT controllers, contact us at Pacific Yacht Systems. And thanks for watching.